Robinson and I have been in uh, all afternoon and all evening long uh, following these uh, strong thunderstorms. Uh, we really haven't seen much in the way of severe weather here in the tri-state, but certainly some heavy rainfall. And you can see uh, what we have on the radar right now, and that would be uh, very heavy rainfall with a little bit of lightning and thunder uh, embedded in these uh, particular cells here. Generally south and east of the tri-state, that's where the or of the city rather, that's where the heaviest of the uh, rainfall is falling right now. You can see that over uh, parts of northern Kentucky, uh, extreme southeastern Hamilton. County right now. A very heavy rainfall over parts of Claremont County into Brown and especially Highland County. All of this not severe, but certainly we could uh, see some flooding, uh, aerial flooding, maybe even some flash flooding. A uh, flash flood watch in effect for most of the tri state as we head through uh, the remainder of the evening hours and even into part of the overnight hours. You can see all of it pushing off to the east and to the southeast uh, fairly quickly. Uh, some heavier rain moving back into parts of southeast Indiana as well. Here's Franklin County, uh, northern uh, Dearborn, Ripley County. Uh, uh, seeing some fairly heavy rainfall and just before the break we talked about a tornado warning that had developed just to the west of Ripley County that was quickly canceled. Uh, these cells kind of pulse up and then they pulse down uh, fairly quickly. We've really kind of seen that pattern uh, throughout the uh, evening hours. So uh, that particular cell that was tornadic just west of the tri-state, it is no longer tornadic and look at these heavy rainfall amounts anywhere from uh, one to three to even uh, more than four inches of rainfall. Look at that very heavy rain that fell around uh, uh, Fayette County uh, over the last couple of hours or so a flash flood warning in effect for this area for a time but even heavy rain as we head into the metro and then of course we don't see the heavy amounts uh, just yet but uh, certainly that heavy rain now falling over areas of Claremont County and uh, over parts of northern Kentucky as well and all this rain uh, right along a cold front you can see it does stretch all the way back into parts of southwestern Indiana and even uh, on the back side of the cold front we could see a few leftover showers as we head through the overnight hours but as far as any uh, severe threat from here on out could still see some fairly uh, strong uh, straight line winds, some gusty winds, and then of course uh, the heavy rain appears to be a pretty uh, big threat right now. Uh, but uh, the tornado threat greatly diminished, uh, the hail threat diminished as well. So generally just kind of a heavy rain event from here on out. Flash flood watch in effect for we'll call it roughly the northern two thirds of the tri-state for the next several hours until four o'clock in the morning. That uh, appears to be what we could see from here on out. It looks like we lost, uh, we had some very heavy rain in the downtown area that uh, why wiped out our uh, sky cam or uh, city cam just for the last bit but 64 degrees and we picked up a quick half inch of rain at the International Airport. But uh, you can see what uh, the uh, frontal boundary has done and the rain. Uh, it has really cooled things off. We have upper 50s, low 60s uh, on the back side of the frontal boundary out ahead of it. Still temperatures well into the 60s and even low 70s officially are high at the International Airport today. 75 degrees. That is unseasonably mild for what the fifth day of November. Here's what you can expect. Here's our future cast as we head through the remainder of the uh, evening and the overnight hours. That heavy rain continuing to push off to the east and to the southeast. Here we are uh, by the morning rush tomorrow morning. Uh, most of that rain should be out of here. We'll be left with um, mainly cloudy skies. We're not going to see a lot of sunshine as we start the work week. Here we are uh, Monday evening, dry at that time, cloudy skies. I do want to point out uh, a system that's trying to bring in a little bit of light rain, some uh, light rain showers for very late Monday night into early Tuesday morning into the overnight hours. So most of that will be out of here if we see that rainfall. It may stay just south of the tri-state, but if we see it, it would generally be out of here by that Tuesday morning commute. So good news there. So here's your forecast as we uh, head through the nighttime hours. We will see uh, some rain, a few uh, thunderstorms. Some of it could be on the heavy side. We'll drop down to right around 50 degrees for the overnight low temperature. And well, tomorrow that high temperature of uh, 63, that was actually or will come at midnight as temperatures will fall off fairly quickly. It will be breezy and colder tomorrow as well. And here's a look at that work week forecast and notice we were spoiled today with those temperatures in the 70s. Look at highs only in the 50s. How about Friday guys? Highs only in the upper 30s. Yikes. Oh, that'll wake you up. Yeah. <laughs>